Hey there, what's up everybody? This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and welcome to our top five least anticipated movies for summer 2018. Uh, we all just did our most anticipated for the summer, and that was a lot of fun to do. But now we're going to be talking about the movies we really are not looking forward to. Um, so one by one, I will, of course, introduce everyone, starting off with Mr. Film Fan. Hey, what's up, you guys? Film Fan 0599 here again, and we're back for the least anticipated movies of, two, of summer 2018. Um, you know, we did this in 2016, 17, and now we're back here for 18. Um, this is always fun because we all seem like we're miserable as fuck while making these because we're talking about the movies we're not looking forward to, and it's always fun to see us, you know, drain ourselves with yep. sorrows. <laughs> Oh, oh boy. boy. Well, this should be fun. Um <laughs> this should be great. Um, so uh this should be fun and uh hopefully we'll all have a good time. So delete. All right, next up here we have Mr. MC Deadpool. Hello. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm being here talking about <laughs> these amazing movies that don't look like shit shit at all yes <laughs> thank you tony for having me on here all right uh, any time um next up over here we have kevin folk hey all right yes <laughs> it has taken me three years now literally literally three years to do this uh 2016 nobody gave a fuck about me they're like we're just gonna do this without kevin who gives a fuck uh, we're not gonna tell out or to be on so. here last year um, and then, I said 2016! I'm getting to that! Then last year, I was actually planning on doing it, but I had a trip at, like, the worst time possible. So, as you guys know, I did a separate video. And now, finally, I am here. Very excited. This has been a long time coming. Um, you guys know one thing about me. As much as I love to, you know praise movies to death and go way more in depth than I need to. I love to shit on movies as well. I love to shit on movies. I love to just go all out. And uh, that's definitely going to be very fun to do here. Like I said, I think this definitely looks like one of the best summers, but that doesn't mean that this is a summer without its uh, shitty movies for sure, because there's definitely a few coming out. So definitely very excited to uh, get into this. Um, next up is a little gentleman that whose name starts off with the J and his last name starts off with an F Jackson Fulcher. Hello. I said I would be here for the intro, but now I'm just going to fall asleep. <laughs> and for the finale, we have Auburn Wanderer. Woo! A sexy image. <laughs> um, oh, he's ready. I am to really me. fucking tired right now. I'm going to go down on these fucking movies. Yes, yes. go down. Movies that that's look a like sex fucking act. garbage. If I'm like, that's really baked. good. I'm fucking baked. <laughs> Caleb looks like a looks like he just like took he's a bunch of like fucking weed and now he's, he's like got the munchies. <laughs> and now he's got the munchies. <laughs> Look, don't trust the police. Oh, good. and I got the Gatorade flow, bitches! Yeah! <laughs> Wait, Katie, you should take some Gatorade. Katie, take some Gatorade shots. Yo! Well, I got Twizzlers, too! Yes! Yo, what up? All right. Now, of course, whenever we do these least anticipated videos, for the summer at least, we always got to go through our dishonorable mentions. Now, for my dishonorable mentions, oh. believe it or not, there isn't a lot I'm dreading this uh -huh. summer. Like most mm -hmm. of the movies you're going to hear me say in my dishonorable mention <laughs> um, are really movies that I'm not dreading, but I just really do not have a lot of expectations for. Like, I just feel meh towards these films. Oh, no. And uh, it's a top 21, uh, oh, no. so it's a pretty big <laughs> list. Oh, no. Number 21 is Overboard, which I did actually see because I had an event screening for it. Number 20 is Hot Summer Nights. Number oh, 19, no! Number 19 is Adrift. Number You're eight, adrift. Shut up. Number 18, Anon. Number 17, Tolly. Number 16, Life of the Party. Number 15, Deadpool 2. Deadpool 2. 
Number 14, Solo Star Wars Story. Number 13, The Darkest oh. Minds. Number 12, Breaking In. Number 11, Under the Silver Lake. Number, no! 10, <laughs> number 10, Crazy Rich Asians. Number 9, True Crimes. Number 8, Action Point. Number 7, this uh. is actually going to shock you guys. I'm actually not dreading this movie, uh, surprisingly. The First Purge. That's oh. my number 7. What? What? No, Come big on, shocker. man! I just feel so whatever. Well, there goes me. that prediction. And at number six, uh, a movie I am dreading: How to Talk to Girls at Parties. That looks like shit. So, those are all of my dishonorable mentions. And film fan, the floor is yours. Hi, um, hello everybody. How do you do? How do you do today? Um, these are my dishonorable mentions. Um, I have Overboard. Uh, Life of the Party, uh, Terminal, uh, Action Point, uh, Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom, uh, and Mamma Mia, here we go again. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh. oh man. Uh, well, mine's going to be a little slim, but uh, I guess um, freaking show dogs. <laughs> uh, and uh, Solo. I mean, I know it looks eh to me. And how to talk to girls at parties. That's what it's called. Yeah. That looks freaking stupid. Especially for an A24 film. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, those are the only ones I got. Uh, Kevin, now your dishonorable mention. Oh, Jesus. We're going to be over here for a while. Yeah. What the fuck? All right, sorry, sorry, my shit froze. Um, okay, my dishonorable mentions. Uh, I know I don't really have a lot, surprisingly, because like I said, there's not really a lot that I think looks all that bad. Um, similar to Tony, these are ones I'm not really dreading. I just think they kind of look whatever. Uh, we got Overboard, Life of the Party, Breaking In, How to Talk to Girls at Parties, Adrift, Skyscraper, Mama, oh, Mama oh, Man, oh, The Darkest oh, Mind, oh, Alpha, and Slender Man. Do you oh, want to start God. all over? I couldn't really hear a couple. Yeah, of them. I, yeah, can you start over, Kevin? I couldn't hear a couple of the ones you said. Sure. I just okay. up Gatorade up my nose. Oh, oh Jesus. Jesus. I thought you got, like, really upset that I said skyscraper. Yeah, that's what oh, I thought, too. I, no, I just drank Gatorade, and, like, some of you said made me laugh, and it went all up my nose and all of my... Oh, oh my God. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? The Hustle, The Darkest Minds, Alpha, and Slender Man. Jackson A. Fulcher. How, how's it hanging there, Jackson? If you have any. <laughs> um, my dishonorable mentions are as follows. <coughs> Overboard. Overboard, Crazy Rich Asians, Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again, uh, Tag... Hotel Transylvania 3, Slender Man, and finally, Uncle Drew. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I got back from my Gatorade incident and that's the first thing I hear. <laughs> yes. Someone's on my side. <laughs> Um, Katie, then, do you have any dishonorable mentions? I have Gatorade. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, uh -huh. that did not work. Oh, yeah, fair. That's a great I have Gatorade in my fucking house. And no, what you not have any dishonorable mentions? All right. Okay, cool. Good to know. Oh, that's really Gatorade hard. Gatorade on my nose. I'm dreading that one as well, right, guys? That is one big pile of shit. So... Oh. My number five is a little movie called 
show dogs. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness. Uh, I mean, there's another movie that deals with talking animals. It's a little movie called Pup Star World Tour. Yeah. I'm actually looking forward to that one for I'm looking forward to that one for all the wrong reasons. Uh this oh, movie Netflix I, now. This movie looks actually legitimately bad. Like I don't even think it looks like hilariously bad. It just looks legitimately awful. Like, especially when the animals are talking. Like, I thought Pub Star had some very off sync. Like when the animals are talking. Oh no, Show Dogs takes that to a whole new level. Um, and I know Ludacris is in here as like the main dog, and you have other actors in here like Fluffy and all that. Right, yeah. Well, well, Arnett is in here too. Um, and it is directed by Raja Gaznell, if that's even how you pronounce his name. He's known for directing the Smurfs movies and Beverly Hills Chihuahua. And I think <laughs> Scooby Doo, I think. Yeah, um, he did do this, Scooby Doo. Yeah, oh. yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's directed by him. And yeah, the trailer was really unwatchable. When I clicked on that trailer, I literally went, What the fuck was that? What Motor. did I What did I watch? Um, the Ryan looks really bad. The humor looks like it's going to fall really flat. Um, the voice acting doesn't even look that impressive. It just looks like one of those movies that's just meant to be made for the sake of being made. Um, it just looks really stupid, and I am really dreading seeing it. Hopefully, it is maybe somewhat better than what the marketing is, but as far as how the marketing goes, it looks painful for me. So that's my number five, Show Dogs. Number five for me um, is uh, Breaking In. <clears throat> hmm. This looks fucking terrible. Um, <laughs> this looks like every generic action, like... We already had a movie like this last year. It was called Kidnapped. It was fucking terrible. And um, we already had a movie like that this year. It's called Traffic. And this movie looks really terrible. This has this looks like it has some really awful acting. The action sequences from the trailer look really bad. The editing with that trailer was god awful. Um, and yeah, it just seems like your stereotypical um, one-on-one breaking in movie, basically. Not to mention the marketing's been pretty terrible for this movie. With the whole payback some mother, you know, and they can't say fucker, because, you know, you can't say fucker in marketing. Um, so, yeah, um, this movie looks trash, and um, I'm not looking forward to it in the slice, so that's why it comes out as my number five. Okay, my number five, well, comedy. When I saw the trailer for this, I'm like, this looks fucking stupid. And my number five is the live I with life at the party. <laughs> Melissa McCarthy is one of those actresses that when she's given funny stuff, she can be really funny. Like with Bridesmaids, with the Heat, with Spy. She and she can even do good dramatic stuff, like with Saint Vincent. But when she does other stuff like say Identity Thief or movies like Tammy, or The Boss, which is from the same guy who is her husband, who directed those two, and now he's directing this. Most of McCarthy looks really annoying. Uh, the jokes weren't all that funny. Uh, Myra Rudolph, what what's going on with you? Like, first, sorry, Jackson, you had to be in the emoji movie. And <laughs> <laughs> And now you're now you're being in this, and also stars. So yeah, speaking of Jackson, it's also not your favorite actress, Debbie Ryan. It's also stars Debbie Ryan, you know, from Jesse and Sweet Life, and she looks freaking awful in this too. So yeah, it looks freaking stupid. It's not. It doesn't look funny, and hopefully, it, I might be wrong. It could be very funny. Like look with the uh, pop star back in 2016. I thought that movie was gonna be shit. But it turned out being really good. It's, but yeah. this one, it just looks like... It's like that movie, Back to School, with Ronnie Dangerfield. If any of you have seen that, that's a really funny movie. Mm -hmm. it, looks, it looks like it's trying to be like that. So, yeah, I'm not looking forward to this. So that's why it's my number five. All right, so my number five, this might be a little bit surprising considering I haven't seen the other films in this franchise. But just this trailer alone makes me dread this movie. And that is the first Purge. What the fuck is this? Like, seriously. I thought we were done with these movies. I thought that it was just a trilogy, and then they were done. But I guess not. Nothing can just be a nice, solid trilogy these days. We gotta have... I mean, I, I know, obviously, they're not solid movies. I'm just saying nothing can be a trilogy. Yeah, nothing we can be a trilogy. Have, 
We have to have more movies. We have to add on to it. And this just looks dumb. Like, who cares about how it's done? The other baffling thing about it is that they're making a TV show about the exact same concept. The TV show is going to be about how The Purge was made. <coughs> That sounds a lot more interesting than this movie. I think as a TV show, this could work a lot better than as a movie. The movie we have here just looks dumb. It looks stupid. It looks so unnecessarily violent, and the acting looks cringe. Uh, just It looks so unrealistic. The fact this movie's coming out on July 4th and competing against Ant-Man and the Wasp, you can just tell they don't really care about these movies anymore, and... It's probably going to make a boatload of money. There's probably going to be like 50 more of these and fuck my life. First purge. I still have to see the second and the third, um, but this just looks absolutely terrible. I don't know why this is being made. I also don't know what the fuck Aunt May is doing in this movie. Why the fuck are you here? Um, there's no reason for her to be here. All the other actors are virtually unknown. They just have fucking Marissa Tomei. I don't understand that. And uh, I, I've said enough about this one, First Purge. This just looks awful, and it is without a doubt my number five. You there, Jackson boy? Oh, he's still there. <laughs> Jackson, oh, I need a blanket. I mean, uh, about shit. He needs a blanket. Uh, just my uh, number, my number five is Teen Titans Go to the theater to see their movie. Um, I don't like the cartoon. It's kind of terrible. And this movie looks like the exact same thing. And that recent trailer, a lot of the uh, lip syncing for the voice acting looks so off and terrible. And uh, I was already not looking forward to it because of that terrible fart joke in the teaser. And this new trailer gave me more reasons to think it's not going to change at all from the show that I also hate. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to go to sleep because fart jokes make me tired. <laughs> Next up, I'm Kaden. Oh, Gremlins. Oh, it's Gizmo. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> this is great timing. <laughs> so... I feel like shit, but I gotta continue. I'm drinking more Gatorade because I'm, most, I'm pro. My number five is Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom because I'm tired of these stupid dinos, man. Why do, why do these idiots keep going back to this stupid ass theme park when they know very damn well that those dinos don't like them humans, okay, bitch? I'm sick and tired of these movies. And Jeff Goldblum is in it because of nostalgia. And Chris Pratt goes, no, and the dino goes, roar. And I just, uh, party. Uh. Yeah, why you got to insult Tony like that? I Dinosaur. am Dinosaur. a boy. <laughs> and that is why Jurassic World Fall of Kingdom looks like garbage. <laughs> garbage. That is one big pile of shit. So, uh, yeah, let's get to our number four, shall we? Yes. <laughs> um, uh, so my number four is a little comedy movie. And I'll admit, uh, while it's something we've seen before, I would think, you know what, this could make for a nice, simple comedy. But based on the trailer, it looks really awful. The Spy Who Dumped Me. Yes. Oh, my God. Woo. Oh, man. I really like Mila Kunis. I really do. I know she hasn't been making the best choices lately, but I still really like her. I do think she's a good actress, and I do think she's funny, too. And I do like Kate McKinnon as well. So, yeah, the duo is nice and all, but just based on the trailer, um, the script just looks really poorly written. The humor looks really forced. Even the acting from both Mila and Kate uh, isn't really all that impressive. They don't even seem like they're having really good chemistry there. And the action doesn't even look that impressive either. It doesn't look god off or anything. It's just like, okay, whatever. There's the action. There you go. Blah, blah. Ugh, why? Why is this a thing? It's just a lot of screaming and shouting. It just looks really obnoxious and annoying. Hopefully the movie's a different story because trailers can market movies differently. Like, we've been ga game proved that a lot lately. Um, so hopefully The Spy Who Dumped Me could be a nice surprise for the summer movie season. But for right now, it looks 
god awful. It looks like absolute trash, and I'm absolutely draining this for sure. So that's why the spy who dumped me is my number four. Uh, all right, uh, number four for me is uh, Show Dogs. Um, why? <laughs> that's the simple. A dog dabs. A, a, a dog dabs. Oh, I forgot to bring that up. Jesus. A dog dabs for the for the life of fuck. Um, I'm I'm not a fan of those Beverly Hills Chihuahua movies or whatever the fuck. Listen, they're they're not good. Um, and this looks exactly like those movies. Um, funny enough, they're by the same director. Um, hmm. th- like you said, the lip, the like the voice, like lipping, like looks. Yeah, really, yeah, lip sync. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it looks really off. Like holy shit. Um, Will Arnett seemed really miscast. I just stick to being the horse, buddy. Um, but it's just, uh, it, he just looks really bad. Uh, Luda is in this as well. Why, though? Like, why do they have, like, so many of these people, like, uh, Gabriel Iglesias is in Stanley Tucci is in this. Oh, why? God, yes. Why, dude? Uh, but, man, uh-huh. this looks like every, like, generic kids movie, honestly. And, yeah, um, a dog do- adapts. Yep, there we go. Well, funny enough, Tony, your number four is also my number four. The yeah, Spy Who Dumped Me. The Spy Who Dumped Me. Uh, yeah, yeah. If I wanted to deal with another comedy that involves The Spy Who Did Something to Me, I'll stick to Austin Powers 2. I'm not a fan of Mila Kunis. Like, I only liked her in, like, three things. I mean, I like her in Forgetting Sarah Marshall and... Ted and Black Swan, I thought she was great. It's just everything else I've seen her in, in like, say, Oz the Great and Powerful or freaking Bad Moms. Yeah, even that 70s show, she kind of annoys me a little bit. And here, it's just it's kind of the same. It's just, eh. Like, she's just a meh actress to me. And, and Kate McKinnon, look, I don't hate Kate McKinnon as much as some people do, but you know, because I think she can be funny and she can be talented. Like, she's funny on Saturday Night Live, but in movies like with this and Ghostbusters and Rough Night last year, it's just like, what are you... D- Kate McKinnon, it might be the stuff they're giving to her or how she's being directed because she, every time she, you see her in movies, she just comes off so obnoxious, and I don't blame her because I know she can be funny. But in this movie, she... Her and Mila Kunis, like Tony said, they look like they don't have any chemistry at all. And the action just looks generic and doesn't look all that thrilling. And the movie just looks... It's just... it. It's, watching this trailer almost reminded me of fucking Hot Pursuit. And that's a bad thing. Because I that movie is freaking awful. And the one word, the one key word that both this trailer and Hopper Suit had is that one word, and that is annoying. And throughout the trailer, I was just annoyed. So, yeah, that's why it's my number four. My number four, this is one that I haven't heard many of you brought up. That's probably because you don't even know this movie exists. I, uh, you know, there are certain luxuries for me getting to see almost every movie in the theater. Um, and then there are times where trailers like Book Club will play and I'm like, what the fuck is this? This looks awful. Just everything about this looks like a piece of shit. I mean, just the plot in general. It's four middle-aged women getting horny because they read Fifty Shades of Grey and because this they want to try, like, BDSM techniques on their significant others. Like... That's all you need to know. That's literally it. That's all you need to know to watch this movie. I don't know why the fuck this is a movie. It sounds like it's just something that was made because, oh, Fifty Shades of Grey was such a huge success and we just don't want that to go away. We want something for those middle-aged women that absolutely love those movies and love to fucking, like, orgasm in the theater and have the seats all sticky. They just, they love doing that. So now we got book club for everyone and... Look, I like these actresses, Jane Fonda, Diane Keaton, Mary Steen. These are good actresses overall, but I don't know what they're doing in this movie. Just everything about this feels so forced and ridiculous. Again, I can't believe this is an actual movie. It just seems like something that 
was like kind of like a joke amongst people and then someone was like so drunk or high that they actually made it into a movie and uh yeah i mean just the fact that 50 shades of gray is a thing overall i think is really dumb but this is just taking it up a notch i mean this is basically a basically mainstream definition of a fan film that's all this is this is a fan film that they're making because people enjoy 50 shades of gray for some reason i don't fucking know why i thought we were done with this apparently we're not and uh yeah that's all i have to say about this one looks like utter shit all right kaden how are things going on your side <laughs> your side kaden what happened to jackson Christ. Oh shit. My number four. The Slender Man. Fuck. This movie looks stupid. No one wants a Slender Man movie. It it does not need a movie. It just doesn't. Like it it looks like it's trying to be some like artsy experimental fart thing and I don't want to see someone cut their eye in a class. It's just, and a big scary man. I just, fuck. I'm leaving. Damn. <laughs> Fucking Elmo in the background, though. <laughs> Elmo's looking into all of our souls. Oh, bye. It was nice seeing you. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Before the group and I get to our number three through number one, here is the rest of Jackson Fulcher's least anticipated movies for summer 2018. Thank you for making your short appearance here on this show, Jackson, and I hope everyone here enjoys the rest of his list very quick. one big pile of shit so my number three um kevin you were wondering why no one has brought this up because i'm bringing it up in my number three. Oh, this movie looks awful like oh my goodness and i and i believe it's coming out the same weekend as deadpool 2 is and show dogs <laughs> yes Oh, and show dogs. Oh my, may, may looks like a terrible month let me just say that may may looks freaking terrible if you Besides guys know this two? most of, mo most of the movies I'm not looking forward to drain or not drain. If you guys notice, most of them Ooh. come from May. Um, yeah, May uh, same really here, actually. <laughs> and it's funny, two movies in this top five both come out the same way as Deadpool two. But yeah, Book Club looks like trash. You basically said everything, Kevin. How it's about these three middle aged women that talk about the Fifty Shades Four, book and and how much they want to do you know naughty stuff with their husbands and all that. So. Um, yeah, and uh, you know, I hate the Fifty Shades movies. I thought we would be done with uh, done with the Fifty Shades stuff after Fifty Shades Free earlier this year. I thought I was like fully free from that, but I guess Book Club. I have to deal with the Fifty Shades material. Um, that is cool for those that are into Fifty Shades. I am no, I am in no way judging you or anything like that. They, the movies just are not for me personally. I really can't stand them, and the fact that they made a movie where three women talk about the books and. All this stuff is just, uh, yeah, just, no thank you. Just no thank you. It, the script looks like crap. Um, the acting from the actresses uh, don't look bad, to be fair, but it's just the script and the direction and the premise. It's one of the most questionable premises I've seen happen on screen, like in a film in a very long time. I am really dreading book club i am not looking forward to this and I, that's all i have to say yeah just why is this a thing and i know we're going to be pretty much asking ourselves that throughout this video but why 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 jesus this game really windy outside all right number three um my number three is the first purge um i am not a fan of this trilogy um the first one is still the worst one in my opinion um the second one is fine I mean, I don't hate it as much as I do the first movie, um, but it's still not good. And the third movie's pretty terrible, too. Um, and this one looks really shitty. Um, 
I thought the trailer was really bad to this. Um, the fact that we're still getting these movies is a travesty. Like Kevin said, nothing can just stay a trilogy. It has to be always a fourth for the fifth for the sixth. Yeah. And especially that the fact that these movies suck and we're getting another one and it's a prequel and we're getting a TV show as well. Why? Just, can we quit with these movies? Tony, totally, why are these movies still being made? I don't know, man. I asked the same thing, and I agree with Kevin. Why is Marissa Tomei in that film? Why, of all people? I know! Why? Man, Kaden, uh, we, we apologize. Kaden is on his crazy pills tonight. Um, Hi! <laughs> um, but uh, I, I really don't know why she's wasting her time in this. Uh, hell, she's in the MCU right now, so why in the boo hell is she wasting her time with something like this? Ooh, so, boo! So, uh, yeah. First purge. Um, I don't know why the dude on the cover looks like Zach Del Roca from the uh, Rage Against the Machine, but you know what? Let's go. That son of a bitch. That's actually my number three. The first purge. Ooh, Ooh. sexy. Yeah, pretty much. He, film fan, put it pretty much took the words right out of my mouth. Well, the first one is freaking horrible. The uh, second one is mediocre. And the third one is awful. This one looks like the exact same shit. Terrible dialogue, stupid ass characters, uh, violent for the sake of being violent. And uh, fun fan, why is your Aunt May in this movie? I don't know. What the hell? Doesn't she have better things to do? Doesn't it? Wasn't there a big like thing at the end of Spider-Man: Homecoming that she needs to uh, do something about? <laughs> Yeah, don't you got an ass whooping to attend? The purge looks like shit, so. Yeah. All right, <laughs> Hayden. Hayden, where the fuck are you? Get right get oh, no. really close to the screen. Where are you? Oh, no. no. All right. Here we go, guys. Everyone's been waiting for this. They trolled me with it during the most anticipated. My number three is absolutely fucking Uncle Drew. Oh, my God. Okay, when fucking Caden told me about this movie, I was in complete disbelief. I'm like, why the fuck is this a thing? It's based on a fucking Pepsi commercial that nobody cares about. It's from all these different like, basketball, you fucking basketball up. stars, things like that. These people who probably can't act whatsoever. Um, is under the drama. Everything about this trailer just reminds me of, like, the Medea movies, to be honest with you. It's a bunch of old people playing basketball, a lot of really dumb jokes in there. That Shaquille O'Neal moment where, like, there's that baby in the church just, oh, my God. Uh, oh, my God. Lil Ray Howery, Tiffany Haddish, like, what the fuck are you guys doing in this? I know. What the fuck? It looks like true. You are in this movie. I will say Lil Ray Howery has looked like the best thing about this movie for sure. There's actually like a couple I read it. get me. Uh, but other than that this just looks like a piece of shit. Everything about this just looks like <laughs> a more generic uh, just really unnecessary sports movie that Kyrie Irving is clearly just making for the moolah. That's about it. Um, <laughs> whatsoever. All these actors, I mean, they're not even actors, really. I just, I don't really have a lot of hope for this movie. Um, Space Jam is a thing. Yes, it is dumb, but at least it has Looney Tunes. This is basically Space Jam without the Looney Tunes, which definitely is in it. In whatsoever. And for all those reasons, all my team. Drew is absolutely my number three. Fuck you, Kaden. I'm not seeing it with you. Wow! All right, Kaden, it's your turn to say your number three now. Oh shit! Um, Animal Crackers. I don't know anything about this movie, but it looks dumb. In the end. Bye. I didn't even know that was coming out in the summer. It is. Oh. That is one big pile of shit. My number two. Oh, dear Lord oh. Almighty. Oh my god. Just why? Ooh. Fucking why? Oh god. Why? My number two is fucking Future World. Oh my god. Ah! Oh, oh my god. Looks like Everyone has been saying it, and I completely agree with them. This is like a 99 cent Mad Max Fury Road. Um, you don't even like that wow. fucking movie. <laughs> Hey, at least Mammoth Fury Road, I can give it credit for having a style and beautiful cinematography. 
The filmmaking here, however, is like next level trash. Oh my goodness. Wow. The, it's really piss poor filmmaking from how uh, the trailer is marketing this film. Obviously, the editing looks really choppy. Oh my God, the editing is really rough. And James Franco, why is James Franco of all actors in this film? Mila Hovovich, however you say her name, I can never get her name right. It's understandable why she would do something like this, but James Franco, uh, just, oh my God. Don't and forget Snoop Dogg, Lucy, Dog. and Lucy, and Lucy Lou, and yes, Snoop Dogg's in her too. Yes, Snoop Dogg is in this movie. Um, I, like, I like, I do, I do like, I do, I do like Snoop Dogg, but why are you in this movie, Snoop Dogg? Why? You're better than this boy. Um, the storyline looks like shit. The directing looks absolutely unbearable. Um, wow. Uh, thank goodness this is not a theatrical film because, wow, it looks... Ooh, it looks like a whole new level of bad. Uh, I am not looking forward to this. This, doesn't, this does not look guilty pleasure bad. It just looks like a straight up bad film. Uh, my number two is a book club. Uh, hey! Um, why the fuck does this movie exist? Please explain to me why does this movie exist. Literally, <sighs> the premise of it is dumb as hell. It is women that are like middle-aged women that are obsessed with the Fifty Shades books and now want to do kinky shit with their husbands to feel young again. It's... I... 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 I just, I can't, I can't. I'm like, speechless too. Like, like, I, speechless I just, I don't know how this, this is a premise. I don't know. Movie. Like, how is this a movie? Like, it looks terrible. And how in the hell, how in the hell is this a theatrical, like, how in the hell did this premise get, like, greenlit? Like, what in the fuck? I mean, the actresses in here, you know, they've all, you know, the, like, Diane Keaton's a great actress. I like Jane Fonda and stuff, but why? I, it, I just I can't. And the fact that this is coming out the same day as Deadpool 2. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I can't even believe it. Literally, there are only two movies that look good from May. The, the Deadpool 2 and Solo, that's it. Everything else in May just looks not good or absolute trash. You said Dark Crimes look good. Okay, for make that three. And Tully. And Tully. Yeah, Tully you said look good. Okay, make that four. But you get the point I'm trying to make here. This looks like trash. Why is this a thing? <sighs> Why, Tony? Please explain to me. Why is this a thing? I don't <clears throat> I don't know, man. But considering I've sat through all three of the Fifty Shades yeah. movies, <sighs> it's a real travesty. Uh, number two. Why? Why are they making this? Why don't we use Teen Titans Go to the movie? Look, I, mean, I, I grew up with the Teen Titans. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm pulling the Chris Stuckman here, so no judgment. I was about to say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I grew up with the old Teen Titans, the one from the 2000s. Uh, that was uh, great. And Teen Titans Go is a complete abomination. It's freaking awful. It's, and when I found out they were making a movie, a theatrical movie, I'm like, oh, why? And I saw the first trailer, and when that fart joke came up, I was like, I'm gonna die. And yeah, and as soon as that second trailer come out, I'm like, okay, you just only got like one or two laughs, and mainly involve like the Green Lantern joke and the Deadpool joke. Besides that, you ain't getting me on. This movie looks freaking awful. Like, like the main, like the voice acting. Like they got the original voice actors from the old, the original Teen Titans show, and. Then you can just tell them, like, hey, you know what? Act like your character from the show, but act all, like, goofy and crazy or, like... Thinking about waffles. Oh, God. Uh, times 100%. And also, let's just get, act, you know, talented actors like Will Arnett and Kristen Bell and Nicolas Cage <laughs> as Superman. <laughs> that looks amazing. <laughs> Oh my god, and also, you know, let's get a little Yachty and Halsey. 
Great actors. To- totally actors. Yeah. Oh, he's like a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this movie looks freaking awful. The animation looks like shit. It just brought... It doesn't look like an... It doesn't look like it belongs in a movie. Uh, be shown at a movie. It should be like like a TV special or a TV movie or something. It's just... Why? Why? You want to see a good cartoon... A movie based on a cartoon. Watch the SpongeBob movies, or hell, even the Rugrat movies. This looks like shit. Just why? That's that's all I got to say. <laughs> Fuck this movie. I'm out. My number two. Um, this is one that um is another comedy that I. Uh, Look, this year doesn't look as bad for comedies, but in terms of summer, it really doesn't look too great. This easily looks like the worst of the bunch. My number two is The Spy Who Dumped Me. Holy shit, this movie. I mean, look, I get it that we have these, like, spy films and things like that, and they're fun to do. And there are some that have actually been pretty good. Spy with Melissa McCarthy is one of my most surprising movies of the entire decade. I think that is a film that literally came out of nowhere. I thought it looked like absolute shit. Maybe this could be the case. Based on these two actresses' track records, though, I very much doubt that. Look, Mila Kunis is a capable actress. I think that she is very talented. She is actually quite funny. I really enjoy her in, you know, that 70s show and things like that. And uh, I don't know what's going on with her, though. She's just ma- Lately, she's just making, like, the worst choices possible. I mean, Bad Moms, I don't hate that movie as much as most, but I don't know why she's doing that. Um, you know, you got her in just so many things that I'm just questioning. Oz the Grain, powerful. I mean, what are you doing, Mila Kunis? And then Kate McKinnon, I mean, look, she's a good Hillary Clinton, but I am convinced that she's never going to get a role as good as that. She's one of those actresses where she just can't seem to find a good role. She keeps getting put into these movies where she's like the worst thing about them, and she just looks so bad here. Of course, everyone's talked about the Minions joke. It's in here, but... Even more annoying, I know none of you care about this, but Justin Theroux's in this I was movie. about to say, Bello, your boy's in this. Bella Leftovers alum himself, and <laughs> boy, what you doing? Honestly, what the fuck you doing in here? I don't know what Justin Theroux is doing with his career. He cannot <laughs> seem to find a good movie besides the Lego Saga movie. That's literally the only performance I've seen from him. And similar to Kate McKinnon, I don't think he's ever going to get a role as good as Kevin Garvey. It's really sad. Nobody's seen that show, and I don't know what he's doing here. Sam Hugan as well from Outlander. What the hell are you doing here? I mean, just ugh, everything about this just looks so bad. I uh, I mean, the first, like, I'd say 30 seconds were okay when it just felt like a James Bond movie. I'm not kidding. Every time that trailer played in theaters, I thought it was for, like, a, the release of, like, Kill Bill or something. Like, that's what it felt like. And then, of course, we have to cut to fucking Mila Kunis not being able to drive and all this stupid shit going on there. And, uh, yeah, this just, this looks awful. Looks like everything I hate is how <laughs> Days. Again, Mila Kunis, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. Justin Theroux, especially, I don't know what the hell you're doing. And uh, yeah, for all those reasons, it is definitely my number two. Number two, Caden. Hi. Hello. My number two. Duck, duck, goose. Ooh, I forgot about that one. The masterpiece. Throw that on there. I don't know anything about this movie, but it just looks stupid, so that's why it's a number two at the end. All right. That is one big pile of shit. Now, we get to that one movie. And yes, while I am dreading the other five that I'm not looking forward to, and the one dishonorable mention that I mentioned earlier... Oh my God, um, this is the one I'm draining the most. And at first, I didn't really know what my least anticipated was. But then I was looking over all the stuff at Movie Insider, and I'm all like, oh yeah, that's a movie. That's actually happening. Slenderman. Oh. This Damn. movie looks like trash. Like Yay! absolute trash. I, I agree with what Caden said earlier um, about how the movie's trying to look all artsy and it's just not really working and it looks like it's going to have shock value for the sake of shock value. The writing looks really idiotic and the 
filmmaking. Oh my God, this does not scream theatrical. It feels like something that would go on the sci-fi channel because it looks so cheap. I haven't played the game, but I've seen uh, gameplay videos like with people playing Slender Man. So I'm aware of what the game is all about. And a Slender Man movie, could it be cool? Yeah, it could be cool. But based on the trailer and hopefully maybe the movie's a different story, uh, but the trailer, what it gave me, uh, I was speechless. Like, it's one of those things where <clears throat> I thought it was so baffling. I thought it was so stupid and it's so fucking cheap looking that it just completely baffled me. I was really pissed off. So, yeah, of all the movies coming out this summer, Slender Man is the one I am really not looking forward to. That's my number one. All right, my number one is uh, The Spy Who Dumped Me. Oh! <sighs> Why, God, that trailer is literally like one of the worst things I think I've ever seen in my whole goddamn life. This movie looks like arguably the worst movie of the year. Like, I am dead serious. The trailer to this is so unbafflingly awful. I literally did not laugh a single time. To top it all off with that damn minion joke at the end, like, who in the blue hell would find this funny? Like, I'm dead serious. This just looks awful. It looks like the character, the two leads do not have chemistry with each other whatsoever. Like, I, I don't mind Mila Kunis. She's an okay actress from what I've seen. She just doesn't pick the greatest roles. Kate McKinnon is funny at times, but her movie roles, really, she hasn't been picked in the best. Uh, Justin Throws a good actor, but, like, I don't know what the hell he's doing. Um... The comedy looks like some of the worst I'll ever see, honestly. I did not laugh a single time. Um, the action probably really looks terrible, too. And no other movie this summer looks as god-awful as um, The Spy Who Dubbed Me. I don't know why this exists. Um, this looks god-awful. Uh, yeah, Spy Who Dubbed Me is easily my uh, most least anticipated uh, film of the entire summer and quite possibly the entire year because... This looks like one of the worst things ever made. So, yeah. My number one. Mamma Mia 2. Uh, oh, interesting. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> Look, the first Mamma Mia is fucking awful. Oh, and it's one of the worst musicals. And look, I don't hate musicals. There's certain musicals I do like. Like singing in the rain and sound of music, Mary Poppins, uh, Dream Girls, recently with La La Land, and uh, oh, even funny musicals like South Park. But I just musicals aren't my thing, and I hated the first Mamma Mia. I thought it was fucking awful, it was so bad. And hearing 10 years later, 10 years. Who asked for this? Who? No one. This is the. You can make an argument. This is one of the most unnecessary sequels ever made. Like it's nobody. It's it's not like the first one was like a critical darling. Amanda Seyfried, look, I like you as an actress. Don't like like what film fans said about me, both Mila Kunis and Kate McKinnon. She's a good actress. But she doesn't pick the best roles, and I, th I found her bland in the first one. She looks bland here. Lily James coming off of Baby Driver, and Cinderella looks bland as a young Meryl Streep. And yeah, of course, I'm gonna expect some amazing music from Pierce Brosnan because he was so great in the first one. Fuck this movie. That's it. All right. No. <laughs> so, look, I, I already insulted Uncle Drew. We're past that. I know yeah, people, that's, I, I still hate you for it, so fuck I know it. people are very surprised that that's not my number one. I was very adamant <laughs> about it. You know uh -oh. what? At least that film had something that maybe could save it. Lil Rel Howry. Hey! Number one absolutely doesn't. Uh -huh. And that is a movie that I can't believe is actually theatrical. And that is Show Dogs. <laughs> 
what can you fucking say about this movie that hasn't already uh, been said? I mean, this just looks like such a piece of shit. I can't believe this is actually coming to theaters. Uh, look, Tony and I, we love the Pup Star movies. First one, definitely not. First one's really boring, but the second one's one of the greatest guilty pleasures of all time. The third one looks like it's going to be right up there with that. This, to me, is basically if you were to do that, but if it was theatrical. The thing about those movies that they're not theatrical, this actually is, and that is baffling to me. I don't know why this is a theatrical movie. Everything about this looks like a Disney movie that would have come out in like 1995. It does not seem like a movie that would come out now. Almost every single casting choice, I think, is wrong here. Ludacris is the main dog. What the hell? I mean, it just seems like such a weird choice. Will Arnett, I mean, I'm surprised he's not one of the dogs in this movie. He's actually human here. I uh, like films and said, just stick to being a talking horse. You know what you're doing there. I can't believe that there's actually a movie that Stanley Tucci and Jordan Sparks are both in at the same time. I'd never think I'd say that in my life. Uh, every single tr joke falls flat. I don't think there's anything that's going to be guilty pleasure worthy about this i mean a dog dabs in the trailer a dog farts in the trailer everything about this just feels so forced so dated we don't see these kind of movies anymore there's a very good reason why and i'm honestly shocked that we're still getting movies like this really i thought we were past the whole alvin the chipmunks you know um Diary of a Wimpy Kid type phase but i guess we're not i guess we're still having movies like this and uh yeah, I, again, I can't believe this is actually a thing this easily. Ah! Nothing, I, I will say this. Nothing in the summer, I think, looks as bad as this movie. So, like I said, this definitely, you know, does look like a really good summer overall, but this definitely looks like the worst of the bunch for sure. All right. Ah! So, I think my number one's really predictable. It's the first Purge. Hey, I got that one at least. Yeah, because these movies are fucking awful. I hate them. They're all terrible. They get worse and worse. First one's god-awful. Second one's fucking god-awful. And the third one's fucking extra god-awful. Just like Uncle Drew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, not just like Uncle Drew. Just like oh, the entirety of the NBA in general. Back to the topic at hand. Back to the topic at hand. again. The first purge looks fucking god awful. And you want to know why? Because no one cares about the fucking first purge. Don't care about these stupid fucking movies. I don't care about no laws for like whatever hours. And you can go rob a Target or a fucking 7 Eleven if you want to. I'm going to go with condoms. Yeah, whatever the fuck you got. Like, I don't give a fuck about these movies. Movies are fucking stupid. The third one literally gave me terrible. Me and Tony, we hate that movie equally, so that's saying something. And, um, yeah. Um, fuck. All right, everybody. That is our top five least anticipated movies for summer 2018. Hey. Um, that, that was a lot of fun. Of course, uh, thank you to my guests for coming on here. Before I get to them to say the little goodbyes, comment down below and let me know what are your top five least anticipated movies for summer 2018. And of course, if you haven't seen our top five most anticipated yet, it is up on the channel now. But I do want to thank everyone, starting off with with a film fan. Uh, hi, everybody. Um, this was fun. Um, this was probably the most uh, chaotic and anticipated video we have ever done in our entire lives. Like, You're welcome. God. Yes. Um, everybody was on the crazy pills tonight, especially um little ginger boy there. Um, oh, and Jackson very briefly. But uh, I'm yeah, more hyped than him. You were. Um, uh, but yeah, this was fun. Uh, thank you, Tony, for having me on for the least anticipated. This was about. <laughs> Hi. Damn. Well, thank you, Tony, for having me on here. Thank you guys for allowing me on here. It's been great talking about these movies, even though for the most of it, I sound like I didn't fucking care. But Tony, you are my man, and film fan, you are a god amongst men. And Caden, you are the sexiest ginger ever, so. And Kevin, you're a piece of shit, so. 
Bye. You know what? At least ah! I at least I have videos on my. <laughs> so where were we at? Uh, me actually. All right. In all seriousness, guys, this. Is... Oh my god! I'm on time now. Kevin, you froze again. You froze again. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I love I love my internet. I I really do. All right, hold on. Okay, I think you're getting a little bit better. Hold on, just wait for it. Okay, you should be okay now. So go ahead before right. any problems happen. Oh, chat. Um, in all seriousness, guys, this actually was a lot of fun. I've been wanting to do these uh, at least anticipated videos for a long time now. I'm very happy to. I've been here. Um, I think obviously for the love of Christ Almighty. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. What is happening? Oh, you froze again. Okay, continue. You're good. <laughs> Karma's a bitch, ain't it? All right. Just th th thank you for having me. You'll see me at some point again. Uh, check out my channel. And uh, yeah, Uncle Drew sucks. Fuck all of you. Um, I just want to remind everyone that I'm a sexy ginger. That's great. Kyrie Irving is the little smoke man alive. And that I need to tell a story. One day, Spider-Man went to 7-Eleven and he, he met Batman. The end. Uh, Tony. Amazing. Honestly, that, that, that really touched my heart. Thank oh. you for having me on, you tiger dude. And it was fun. Thank you once again, everyone. And thank you, Jackson Fulcher, for making an un unexpected special appearance. Everybody, this is 20 Tiger Dude here with a uh, film fan, MC Deadpool, Kevin Falk, Albert Wonder, and Jackson Fulcher in spirit. And don't forget that all of us will always have... Tiger Power!